Wednesday, March 14th, 2007 is when I had a nightmare about live video. I was at someone's house, don't remember whose, and they were throwing a party. You know, those parties with loud music in their house and their close friends dancing and talking loudly to others over the music. I had asked the person who owns the house and is throwing the party if I could go online to check my things. It was okay with them that I do that and going in a more private and quiet room, I went onto their computer. Going to live video, going to live video site, I had found one with my one of my bullies had made a video on their channel. It featured on live video home screen. I didn't watch the video. I knew what it was about because the title on the video said something like, Why Nora Should Be Suspended. They also put a really long video description that I didn't care to read either. My thoughts in this nightmare was, what the hell? Right away, I tried to log into my live video account, but it gave me an error of some kind. The person who was throwing the party came into the room and asked me if they could use the computer for a minute. I let them because I had to give Paul a call about live video suspending me. Right when I picked up the phone receiver, I noticed that I couldn't remember Paul's number. Damn, I thought to myself, how come I can't remember his number like how I remember other people's numbers? I slammed the phone receiver down in frustration. That is when I woke up to the sound of my alarm. On Tuesday, March 20th, 2007, Paul has said the same thing brother had said to me on the phone back in April of 2006. My videos are like the Truman Show, and if I don't post a new video, everyone freaks out because they want to know what happens next. They want to know the next chapter in your life, Paul said. Paul had said, Friday, March 23rd, 2007, I had found myself meeting Spongebob in my mall. <laughs> Giving Spongebob a hug felt like hugging a cardboard box. Sunday, March 25th, 2007, my friend Melanie came into town to throw an open house party at, excuse me, at her mom's house farm. She wanted to show off her newborn twins, a boy and a girl, and to show me her pigs. Melania, Melanie and I both met in 6th grade junior high and has been friends ever since. So, at around 2 in that afternoon, at around 2 the, in the afternoon, Mom and Dad drove me to Melanie's mom's farmhouse. In the car there, I promised myself that since Melanie may not be comfortable with me filming around her or comfortable with me filming her babies, I would just keep my camera on myself. Right when entering the farmhouse, Melanie greeted us and then said to me, I don't want you taking pictures of my babies, okay? I told her I went and respected her wishes.
I sat around in her co in her kitchen and nibbled on some snacks they had out, cold shrimp, crackers, and cheese. Then Melanie wanted to show me the barn kittens. Walking out of the farmhouse, Melanie said in a serious tone that she wanted to talk to me. But since she had forgotten to put them on some old shoes, it was muddy on the farm. She had to go back inside to get them. I stood there waiting for her, telling myself that she wanted to talk to me about Paul because I had sent her a letter in the mail about it, him a few days ago. When she came back outside with the old pair of shoes on her feet, she said the following, You better be careful with the camera. There's a lot of weirdos out there. I don't want you to get into trouble. As though I didn't know that after all I've been through. Plus, it wasn't me that was causing the trouble. Then she asked Nora, you didn't take any pictures of me and my babies inside, did you? I felt offended, like I couldn't be trusted by a friend who known me all those years. No, is what I told her, is what I said back to her. Okay, Nora. I'll trust your word on it. While filming the kitties and the pigs, she also said to me, Nora, I think you better put that camera down for a while. But I ignored her. I don't like to be controlled around. After all, she didn't understand my hobby. Back inside... The farmhouse, she says again, don't take pictures of me or my babies. By this point, I felt annoyed. Didn't she hear me the first time that I had promised her I would not do that? I didn't need to be reminded again, 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 and again. I sat down in her mom's kitchen and ate more snacks. After that, I went into the living room where everyone, mom, dad, her mom, and her family were talking and telling stories. Minutes later, she wanted to go back outside to check the kittens again. Nora, do you want to come with me? She asked. I wasn't in the mood to because she would probably remind me again about filming and how my camera could be dangerous, so I said, no, you sure? Yeah. Before she left back outside, she reminded me again not to take pictures of her babies. By the time mom, dad, and I were about to leave at around four in the afternoon, I was putting my muddy shoes on in the farmhouse hallway. Mom was waiting for me, putting her coat on, too.